Okay, here we go, Carlos. I got everything wired up right this time to the next test. We're gonna let it heat up a second. That's Celsius, by the way. And it shut off. Look at that. Okay, the handle's off. And it shut off. Not too bad. The temperature's been exceeded, so it's not going to kick back on for a second, as you can see from that. As soon as that temperature goes down, the unit will kick back on. There we go. And there it is. Temperature kicked on. And bam. Okay. Hand off the trigger. It takes a second for that pressure to fill up. go like I got a little pilot light back there Temperature kicked off. I need to increase the temperature setting on that. Okay, just kick back on. Typically when you would use one of these things, I've always seen that you do have to wipe the bugs off still. I need to adjust the temperature so it quits kicking off on me. As soon as we start cooking, it um, some of this stuff is actual nicks in the paint. That's That's not a bug right there. I don't know how yours works on um, dead bugs and tar, but uh, that definitely doesn't work too bad. Uh, better than soap and high pressure. If you use a pressure washer on a car like this, you end up doing that right there. It chips the paint right off of it. But uh, yeah, I want to mess with the, the temperature on this a little bit and hit this thing again because as soon as we start getting at a perfect setting 
we hit that 107 degrees Celsius. My pilot light's going crazy in here. All right. So that tank was about out of propane, as far as I thought. And we ran this thing for quite a while. I did see a tiny puff of steam coming from somewhere in here. But just that one time. So everything's working now. The pressure's shutting off. We just need to increase the temperature output so it runs a little better. And um, I've got one or two more tests. I just want to see how this thing runs for a while. Oh, wow. That is so cool, you guys. I was really worried about this. So it's working just the way I thought it would. The air is being sucked down on the outside of the boiler. Pulled up through the bottom, causing a convection flow. But I definitely think this is gonna work out for you. We basically did it, brother. This thing was beating me down, dude. I was really getting worried there when it wasn't shutting off the way I wanted it to. Nothing like a good scare. I'm going to bed. I've had it. I've had it for the days. <laughs> it has been too. I'm on my second one. It's my birthday though and I got a lot of cool stuff going on and the second I figured out what I was doing wrong with this thing there was no way I was going to sleep I had to get you this video Carlo so I hope you receive it well all right it's fly or die dude Okay, so the cutoff's working. See how long it pulls before it leaks out. I don't see any leaks at all. Okay. Now we're gonna fire the machine up. What we do is we're gonna turn on the pilot light. The pilot light is lit. And now we're going to adjust the pressure regulator to 80 psi's propane, but I have to turn on this. Back on. 